hey guys welcome to the channel if you are new and if you're not hey boo so in today's video i created this beautiful look that you see and i used the color pop 11 11 palette so i used that palette to achieve this look and please excuse my voice the seasons here in texas are changing which means i'm getting seasonal allergies and for some reason i always lose my voice around this time but i promise you i feel so amazing it's just my voice okay it does not want to cooperate if you guys want to see some swatches if you want to see me create this look and see what other products that i use to create this flawless beat then let's not waste any more time definitely follow your girl on instagram and tiktok i'll leave all my social handles down in the description box if you want to give your girl a follow but yes without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video Hey guys, so I'm coming to you fresh faced. So the brows are on and we're going to start on the eyes and I'm taking the ColourPop 1111 palette. Here I am inserting some swatches and this is what she looks like. She is so gorgeous. So we're going to prime the eyes using the one and only P. Louise base. And the first color we're going to get into is called Lucky Babe. Now we are doing a more cool tone look. So this is just to set everything before we go deeper. So now I'm taking the shade Perfect Harmony and I'm just buffing that into the crease. Focusing most of the product on the outer V. But you want to run it all through the crease and then slightly blend it out. So I'm also taking Empowered and I'm just taking that in the outer V. Remember to kind of wing it out just because that's the shape we're going for today. But the eye look was not giving depth so I'm actually jumping in to the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes and I'm taking the black because I really wanted this to be smoky. And the black definitely was the added touch. There is a black in the palette but it's like a sparkly black. So now I'm going to cut the crease using the glam light icing primer so here I am slowly cutting the crease trying to perfect the shape you guys definitely need to take your time when doing this um, it doesn't take super long but you know we want to perfect the eye and once I have the shape how I want this is pretty much how we're looking you want to make sure you tap off the excess and then I'm taking perfect harmony and blending that a little bit onto the lid before we go into the shimmer and now I'm just taking the shade major change it is like a taupey silvery color it's literally so stunning look at that so now i'm taking balanced which is this pinky color it's very icy um so just keep that in mind and i'm just adding that in the inner one third now i'm just taking some liquid liner and i'm actually going up in a diagonal towards the outer edge just to give my eye like a nice lift and we're not winging it out we're just going to clean up the outer edge with some micellular water and that's going to give us that winged effect so i'm just going to match the other eye and we are back with the lashes on we're going to work on the base i'm taking the denissa myricks blurring balm powder in universal as you can see i put quite the dent in her and i'm just applying that all over the face remember to press these products into the skin that's going to help create a more flawless base for foundation i'm mixing those two foundations one's matte and one's more glowy y'all my skin is actually 
pretty normal so i'm like wearing more like natural and like glowy foundations and it just looks really good so now we're gonna add some cream bronzer this is the nars laguna bronzer and we're taking the patrick ta contour brush this one's dual ended um, I love this because you can use one side for cream and one side for powder and this bronzer is literally the perfect tone for my skin. And if you guys don't have this nose contour brush, you definitely need it. It makes contouring the nose so easy. It does all the hard work and all you have to do is drag it down and then blend out the edges. So I'm just doing the shape that I want and then here I am. I'm just going to slowly blend that cream um, bronzer and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with concealer I've really been loving this LYS concealer it's nice and hydrating and I really love the tone for like more natural highlight days but y'all know me I love a bright under eye so I'm taking the Huda Beauty faux filter concealer this is in the shade granola and I'm just gonna add that on the inner corner on my nose and a little bit on the chin. For cream blush, I'm taking the LYS blush in Confident. This is literally my perfect everyday blush, so don't forget to use these products, guys. Of course, I'm setting the under eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Face Powder. This is in the shade Light 8, okay? She is very bright, but she gives me the brightness that I need, and I have a really flawless under eye. To set the rest of the face, I'm taking Fenty um, Powder Foundation in the shade 410, and I'm just using that to set all over the face. And now it's time to bronze up the skin. I'm taking the NARS Talc Free Laguna Bronzer. This is in the deepest shade, which is Laguna 8. I love this because it's warm, but not super red. It's more neutral and it definitely bronzes the skin. You can definitely tell um, the bronzer versus no bronzer. And this is when my face really starts to come together. So now I'm just taking that same powder bronzer and going over my nose contour just to reinforce the shape and like i said y'all need this contour brush it literally makes everything so easy so i'm baking with the one size powder of course and while i'm baking i'm just gonna add a little bit of this blush from l'oreal and it matches the cream blush and as you can see doing the blush right now it just diffuses with the powder um, just so it's like soft and like airbrushed so now I'm just dusting off the powder all over the face taking a little bit under the eye um, with no added product and as you can see this powder literally leaves my under eyes looking flawless and just to highlight the nose, I'm taking the shade Balanced, and you only need a little bit because look at that, and that is an eyeshadow, okay? You can also use your eyeshadows as highlighters, so don't forget. I'm gonna do my lips off camera, head to my TikTok if you wanna see that combo, and this is the final look, okay? It's giving calm, cool, and collected. It's giving sexy, smoky, and I'm definitely here for this look. Y'all let me know what you guys think. If you guys are picking up this palette, I definitely say it's a must, but bye guys.